Hi, welcome to a demonstration of the Dropbox integration features in Sockerdad version 2.1. Okay, so on my iPad here, I have uh, a typical Sockerdad setup. I have my team set up. Uh, I have a schedule full of games and practices. I have my whiteboards, etc., etc. So now the problem is I don't want to take my iPad to my game that I'm going to have in 10 minutes. I actually want to take my iPhone and capture data there and then share it back. So how do I go about doing that? Um, well, the way we do that is we go to the Settings tab. And now, uh, towards the bottom of the Settings uh, page, there is a new button called Databases. So what does this tell me? Um, this tells me that I have one database on my uh, local device called Default, and that's what you start out with. Uh, the reason you have a green icon there is because that's the database that I currently have selected. Um, and I can do various other things, but let me first show you the most exciting thing, and that is how do I link to Dropbox and, and do all of that. So, um, the way you start out, just clicking the link to Dropbox. Now, if you already have a Dropbox account, um, you just fill in your username and password. Otherwise, you can actually create a new account directly from within uh, Sockerdad. Now, the um, interesting thing about Dropbox, if you don't know about it, it's just a place where you can put uh, data. Uh, there are various clients. You can run um, a client on your Mac or on your PC that automatically syncs. Um, but I'm going to show you here how we sync from within Sockerdad. Okay, so username and password here. And now we're linked. Okay, so the display is updated a little bit. Um, I now have a second database that's showing up here. And it's got a grey icon, and what a grey icon means is that it's in my Dropbox account, but it's not actually on my um, iPad at this point. I'll show you how we use that in a second. So it tells me I have a database out there called Demo, and the version on my Dropbox was updated 21 minutes ago. Uh, it also looks at any folders that you have on Dropbox, because there are some pretty interesting things you can do with sh sharing folders with other people. Um, so again, it's in grey. My public folder is up on Dropbox, but I don't have a version of that down on my device at this point. Okay, so let's uh, go through the process of actually, okay, now I want to move my data and I want to put it on my iPhone. Okay, so go into my default database. I can do a couple of things here. First one of which is I want to just make a copy locally here um, and use that instead of the, the first database. So why would you want to do that? Um, sometimes when you go from season to season, you know, all that data builds up and so it becomes a little um, cumbersome to you know, navigate through all those games you have scheduled that you've already played. So what you can do is make a copy of your database um, sort of archive the old one, and in the new one, uh, delete out all the, uh, the information you don't need anymore, and uh, start afresh. And that way you bring across your players that you already have defined. Um, okay, but let's just do the synchronization at this point. So I'm going to say I want to upload my database. So uploading your database is taking whatever you have on this iPad and putting it up on uh, in the cloud, if you like, um, on your Dropbox. So you see a little progress as this happens. Uh, this is copying your entire database. Uh, so be careful if you're using 3G because you know, your data rates will apply. Okay, so now um, that database should be on uh, Dropbox. So again, now the default database, it says you know, Dropbox was updated Sorry, uh, 15 seconds ago. So that was me. So now if I switch over to my iPhone, Okay, so I have no data here right now, okay? Again, here I'm going to go into Settings, go down to Databases, and this one I actually uh, linked before, okay? So I already went through the process of linking. I have a few other databases here. Um, my default database, the empty one that I'm currently using, um, again, it's showing me the same information. My Dropbox was updated 32 seconds ago. So again, here I can do the opposite. I can actually download the database on this device. So it's just giving you a little warning that's actually going to overwrite uh, whatever data you have in that database here. 
OK, so if I'm OK with that, it pulls down that database. And now, when I go to my Teams, lo and behold, I'm seeing the same information as I saw over on my iPad. OK, so I've now copied everything from uh, my iPad to my iPhone. And I could make changes here, sync the database back up, and pull it back down to uh, my iPad. So it works in, in both directions. Okay, so switching back to the iPad for a second, let's go back to uh, databases. So here I actually have uh, two databases. One is actually resident here right now. The other one is just on my Dropbox. So again, I'm just going to go here and download that database. Okay, so once I've downloaded it, um, this is not my current database that I'm currently using. So I can select it. So let me just show you that. Okay, so now demo is selected, default is yellow, which means it's resident here, but it's not currently being used. Okay, so now you can see that I'm, I'm using a different database. Right. Player's names are a little similar, but, uh, but different. Okay, a different database. So what are some of the other things I can do? So obviously you can uh, push data up and you can pull it down. You can create a brand new empty database if you want to do, do that. Okay, let's go back in here. I can make a copy of the database. We already talked about that. I can actually delete a database if I want to do that. If I'm completely done with it, I just maybe want it um, online at this point. I don't want to clutter up my local machine. Okay, so that is Dropbox integration and having multiple databases that you can now switch between. Thank you very much.